Hey guys, we're going to go over two strategies on how to solve this problem, a whole number minus a fraction. The first one is going to be, I guess you could call it like the standard way. I'm not going to go into a ton of detail, but I will link a video in the corner where I do it in more depth, but let's go ahead and solve this. So when I'm solving these, I need denominators the same. So right now you might be thinking, well, seven doesn't have a denominator, but it's always over a one, even if it's not written. So we have seven over one minus eight elevenths. Then I wanna get my denominator the same. So the smallest number they both go into is 11. So I don't need to change this guy. This side I'm gonna multiply by 11 over 11 because that just simplifies down to one if I were to divide that. So I'm really just multiplying by a one. It's just a weird looking one. Then I'm gonna multiply straight across. So I have 11 times seven, which gives me 77 over 11 times one, which is 11, and we are subtracting the eight elevenths. So you'll notice if I were to take 77 divided by 11, I get seven. So it's the same number, just written differently. Then when I subtract these, my denominator will stay 11. That's why they needed to be the same. And then 77 minus eight will give me 69. That's my answer as an improper fraction. If I want to write it as a mixed number, I say 11 goes into 69 six times with three left over, and we are still in 11ths. All right, there's that guy. Okay, on my video where I did this, the longer one I linked earlier, I had several comments telling me of a way some people prefer to do this. So let's go ahead and look at that. I have seven here, but another way I could write seven, stick with me, would be six plus one, right? Six plus one and seven are the same thing. Well, also, what is another way we said we could write one? 11 over 11. So I could write seven as six plus 11 over 11. I know that might be like, that is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. But 11 over 11 simplifies down to one, six plus one is seven. So writing it like this is going to help us solve this. Then the reason I picked 11 over 11 is because this guy's denominator is 11. So now I can subtract eight elevenths from 11 elevenths. And that leaves me with three elevenths. And then I still have that six there. Look at that. There is that answer. You go ahead and solve it whatever way makes more sense to you. That's the beautiful thing about math. You do it how you want to do it. <laughs> okay. Hope this made sense. Thanks.